it doesn't matter if Washington doesn't get it right for the nation. Is there any conceivable scenario where you would see the field uh, as not talking about these big issues that you're talking about and say, I'm the only one talking about it, and the time is now, I must run? Well, that took a long time, didn't it? <laughs> I was talking to my wife this morning. Uh, I was down here in D.C. I was talking to my wife this morning, and, and I was telling her there's Q&A after I give this speech. And she said to me, um, you don't think they're going to ask you about running for president, do you? And I said, no, no. <laughs> I, listen, I threatened to commit suicide. I did. I said, what do I have to do short of suicide to convince people I'm not running? Apparently, I actually have to commit suicide <laughs> uh, to convince people I'm not running. Listen, you heard what I just said, and it comes from the heart. And it, it's what I really believe. So then you also have to believe me when I say to you that you have to feel in your heart and in your mind that you're ready for the presidency. And there are lots of people who will run just because the opportunity presents itself. And I'm not stupid. I see the opportunity. I see it. That's not the reason to run. And I think all too often that's why people do run. It's just because they see the opportunity. Whoa, whoa. When will I ever get this opportunity again? Let's go. <laughs> that's not a reason to be president of the United States. You have to believe in your heart and in your soul and in your mind that you are ready. And I don't believe that about myself right now. So that's why I've said I won't run. And, you know, I, I can't imagine that changing. 